Hey, I'm Tyler and I'm 13, and you're never gonna guess what I have in here. It's a fire pit. And it all fits in this little bag. So, you open it up, and you have these poles, and they all fit in this little thing, and the four stakes pull out, and they're all connected. And then you have your actual fire pit, so what's holding the wood and the flames and stuff, right there. Can you unfold that for us? Okay. Uh -huh. so and then you, you got your links. Might so. be kind of hard to envision this, but let's put it together and you'll see how this works. So this is going to be pretty cool for situations where, you know, you need to bring a fire pit with you, have the ability to make a small fire. Um, and super portable. And we're going to test this thing out. It's also really light. All of these um, are hollow. Cool. So what you'll do is you'll stick the uh, sticks that come out with the rubber end on one side. So all four. They all fit really nice and neat. So it's got the hinges. They all bend one way. So it bends out like this. So it's like a, I don't know what the word is. It's like a tripod, but with four. A quad pod. <laughs> okay, so I've sort of put this together here. Let me show you how these clips actually work. So you got one and it's springy. So you'll take it and you have to stretch it out a little bit. You stick it through. You stick both of the clips through and then you stick them in to the uh, tube like this. And then the tension is what keeps this open. So here, I'll do another one. So they just kind of stay in place with tension and then once you have a little bit of weight in the mesh, it kind of keeps it all in place. So we got all four in, after you get them in. Stretch it out a little bit, but don't push too hard because it will collapse. Okay, so I got my setup here. Uh, what I did, I, cut, I took some wood, cut it up into super small thin pieces and put it down and then made a bunch more of those and then put some lint and then more. So that's drier lint. That's pretty flammable, right? And then what do we got here? And then we got some bigger stuff on top and then we got thick and then medium and then pretty thick and then these are longer to put over top so right now I'm gonna start it with flint and steel okay so you get it started Make sure you don't smother it. So make sure the wood gets caught. So one of the things Tyler's been doing is actually he saves dry, dryer lint um, and toilet paper tubes. It is actually a really easy fire starter. So if you're doing stuff it with dryer lint yeah doing but your laundry no. doing your laundry anyways might as well save the dryer lint and use it in your camping all right so this thing's going pretty well now you can see i mean it's it's a small fire but there's actually like we still got quite a bit of room on this thing tyler's got tyler's got this thing going pretty nice I want to experiment a little bit with some of these bigger logs and just see what we can do. So we're going to keep this sucker going and then uh, see if we can build it up a little bit more. Just experiment because it's good to know. I mean, that's one of the things I like to do is test out my gear before I get out in the field. So I know exactly what to expect and um, what kind of things we can do with it. So we're going to keep working on this and then clip over and see 
just exactly how big we can build on this fire pit. That was a good hit. This is a good fire for, t <laughs> this is a good video for a day like today. I'm getting a little cold. Let me get my hands warmed up here. Okay, so we got some bigger logs. Um, about this size, we're gonna see what it can take. She's gonna kind of lean to it or? Yeah, kind of TP-ish. Almost like a TP. What do you think? Are those gonna fall off though? Should we? Like, are they gonna slide off the side? No, I we... think they'll burn down and then slowly come Would it make sense in? to maybe log cabin it? Good. Let's experiment with that and just see. That's already catching, isn't it? Yeah, let's log cabin it. I think that might be a little bit less likely to slip off. Yeah, that's a good fit. That's beautiful. I like it. We'll give it a few minutes on this and just kind of see what we're looking at. And then we've got one more log we can toss on there if we want to. Okay, so there's a few things about this that I like way better than any like dirt and rock campfire. So number one, just got blasted. Number one is it's got holes in the bottom, so it gets lots of oxygen. So it's pretty hard to smother it. And then number two, let's say you build a log cabin like this in a lot of dirt and rock fire pits, it's flat and it just spreads out and dies way faster. But on this, it the center will burn and then it'll fall down to this middle of the uh, bowl like thingy. And then it keeps burning all in the center instead of just spreading out. And so it's almost like it funnels itself down towards itself, yeah. kind of keeps itself burning more. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So that's our, our little log cabin that we had going. You can see it's getting a really good burn. Why don't you throw that last log on there and let's just, just see like what happens. This? Yeah. Maybe across the top. Get another. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we're going to throw this big log right here, see what it does. And it seems to be holding up the weight really well. Like, I was, I was curious how this would all work out, but those clips work well. Um, you know, we can see we've got a good amount of wood on there. This thing's just burning nice. And it's high enough off the grass, it doesn't seem like it's affecting the grass either. I was curious about that too, like how the heat would go. Um, cause we've had other fire pits that we used in the summer actually that uh, burned, burned a nice circle in the grass. Right there. We had to, yeah, the other one that we had, we got that one from the department store. So anyways, yeah, I think this seems like a better option actually, which is interesting. Okay guys, that's your IMI, a portable collapsible fire pit. Super light, less than two pounds, fits in this bag and can actually hold quite a bit of weight. Yeah, we got a nice rip roaring fire going here. So we're going to close down and enjoy this fire while it lasts. And um, pretty impressed with this, actually.